Okay, so now you're going to need your book two for Accent on Achievement. Today we're going to work on page seven and page eight. And I'm looking at page seven in the clarinet book. Um, let me see what you got. Clarinets, they show you the high A. And so we just played your A scale. That's the fingering for the A, the octave above. Uh, for That's the only new note on this page for anybody. So the high A is fingered. You cover the thumb, you use your register key, and then first finger, second finger. And you can see the fingering right up there um, at the top of the page. We're gonna learn a new time signature today, and it's called cut time. I really wish we were together for me to teach you this, but I'll do the best I can. In cut time, all of the note values are cut in half. And you see, it looks like a letter C with a line through it. So if you remember, the letter C stands for common time. And then when you put a line through it, that makes it cut time. And so in cut time, the half note gets one beat. And the quarter notes are gonna be like eighth notes. The first time we play through number 16, let's do it in 4-4 four, four time. And then I'll transfer you into doing it in cut time. So for 4-4 four, four time, I'm going to put the metronome at about 120. So there's the tempo. And we are in the key. Look at, see what key you're in. Concert E flat. Think of the concert E flat scale. They show the counting underneath, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Let's count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if you're counting in finger, so here's one, two, count. One, three, four, one, three, one, three, one, two, three, four. 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 Let's just play it in cut in four four time for a minute. I'll demonstrate if you want. So here we go. One, one, two, three. to learn right there. So I had that squeak, so I'm gonna tighten up my ligature just a little bit. Let me see if that helped. One, two, ready. So that helped. I also firmed up my embouchure just a bit. So now, that is the quarter note. I'm gonna show you in cut time. So cut time is gonna be half of 120, so that means it's gonna be 60. So the metronome is beating at 60, but you can still think one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. play marches we'll play in cut time a lot I'm not gonna get too far into cut time for right now I just want to introduce it to you so look at number 17 it's the same thing that's in cut time so the metronome will beat the half note 
And now the way you count quarter notes, you could count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's do it that way once. You count and finger. Sing Noel, number 17. One, two, three. Good, so I just did that in cut time. Clarinets, I just wanna point out to you, see where at circle two where it says, keep your right hand down. You can keep this right hand down when you play those notes. Watch my right hand. I'm not moving the right hand when I play those notes and it makes those notes from the A to the C come out a little bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna play 17 one more time and I'll play it two times through. So you can play it as a round with me or you can play it in unison with me. Here we go, 17. In cut time, so I'm thinking one, two, three, four, one, two, reasons my clarinet wants to kind of squeak I'm playing on a reed probably that's a little too soft for those high notes you know I've been trying to get you guys to go into the uh, the level three reeds and right right about now is a good time to push yourself into playing on Van Doren three reeds um, that'll give you it'll be a little harder you'll have to keep your armature firm and your air faster but it'll make those higher notes sound better all right, next is Scarborough Fair. Again, I'm always going to say this. Look at the key signature. It's in the key of concert E flat. So think about your scale for the concert E flat scale. Notice that it's also an andante. Andante, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Means kind of a slow tempo. Andante means slow tempo. Look at the time signature. What does the time signature tell you? It's in three, four time. So that tells you that you're going to have three beats to the measure. Now let's look at this for a minute and notice the second measure. Do you remember that word syncopation that we used yesterday? There's syncopation in that second measure. So if we're starting from the beginning, we're going to count one, two, three, one and three, one, two and three, one, two, three. I'm going to put the metronomes on 60. That's a pretty good andante. Let's count it once. Let me go. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, one and three. One, two, and three. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, breathe. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I don't know if you notice, I'm tapping my toe, but I'm kind of feeling it inside. This is one of my favorite pieces. I would really love it if a few of you would play this for your charms assignment this week. Practice it really hard and see if you can't play it for me. You know, there's a lot of dynamics marked in there too, so that would be nice to hear as well. So here, I'll demonstrate, then you can play along with me. Number 18. One, two, I'm sorry I squeaked in there. So we're gonna, I'm going to do it again and you can play along with me. You can listen again if you want. I might do it two more times because I love this song so much. All right, here's number 18. I'll try not to squeak. One, two. <gasps> pretty. I really like that. So you can rewind it and play it as many times as you want to. Keep practicing along with me and then just put the metronome on and practice by yourself. You know, we might do a little bit at the end with the CD and so you can practice with the CD. But what I'm trying to get you to do is to feel that beat all the time. We're going to move on to number 19, High School Cadets. Again, this is by one of my favorite composers, John Philip Sousa. And really, almost every concert I ever play, I like to have a Sousa march. I just really love Sousa. He was born in 1854, and he died in 1932. So he lived at the end of the uh, 18th cent 19th century and into the beginning of the 20th century. And he was very, very famous for creating his, for being the conductor of the Marine Band. And with the Marine Band, he had a lot of marches that he wrote because the whole purpose of the band was to get people kind of excited. And they call it the esprit de corps, you know, the spirit of the group. And so he wrote a lot of marches because marches are uplifting and happy. And um, he ended up traveling all over the country playing what's called Sousa concerts. You know what? You could look that up on YouTube and you might find a Sousa concert that you can look at. And on Sousa concerts, he played 
a march between every piece. And it's really a lot of fun. So high school cadets, you notice that it's in cut time. It's in the key of concert B flat. It's um, an allegro. I think for us to learn it, we're gonna start a little bit slow. And for us to learn it, I'm gonna um, have us do the think of it in four, four time. So I'm gonna put it, put the metronome on 120. Nope, that's cut time. Da, da, da. No, I can't do it without doing cut time. Let me go. So we're gonna count like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. Two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one, two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one, two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one, two and one, two and one and two and one and two and one. And then we stop. Let's slow it down. I can see, it seems like we've practiced this before. The last three measures, take a look at that. I'm gonna slow it way down. Oops. This is 80. So the last three measures, or it's actually the last measure and a half. Let's go even slower so you can hear all those notes. Let's go to about 60. So here's the last two and a half measures. So you have that F natural to F sharp, that accidental, that makes a little chromatic scale going on. Do that one more time. And you can practice this on your own. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the beginning. If you wanna play along, you notice there's a repeat sign, so I will repeat. You can listen the first time and then play the second time. Or if you've already practiced it and you can already play it, go ahead and play it with me right now. One, two. E at first clarinets and then I caught up with it the second time. All right, I'm gonna rest for just a minute and then we're gonna do that one more time. And you know what, for today we may only do page seven um, and we'll save page eight for Monday. I'll do that one for you on Monday. So here's high school cadets. I picked it up just a little bit. Ready? One, two,
that for a minute and we're going to go to the CD. So on the CD, I'd like us to jump back to page four, number nine, and we'll just review a couple of the songs and a little bit of the syncopation that you had. All right, so let me get the CD going. Num number, number, number eight, Merrily We Roll Along. And number nine. Part A the first time, number part nine, B the second Barker time. Barker Roll from Tales of Hoffman. Look at the key.
right, let's play that. Number 13, Old Dan Tucker. Think about the syncopation. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, and, and three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I got lost. Number 14, Erie Canal. up with America the Beautiful. Number 15, America the Beautiful. you guys but I was getting a little bit tired so today we warmed up with the concert F scale we reviewed the concert G and the concert C next week we're going to do the concert B flat scale so you can start working on all that we've worked on that a lot so I'm not worried about it I want you to record something for me in charms I'm going to right now go down and put the assignments in the charms page you, I'm going to 
give you options of page. Let's see. Let's do four, five, or seven. So I want you to play a song from page four. I'd like you to play, um, let's do number 10 and number 11 on page four. On page five, I would like to hear number 12 and number 15 on page five. And on page seven, I would like to hear number 18 and 19. So that gives you stuff to be practicing, to try and get better. You can play them slow tempos if you need to. Listen to my recordings, practice with the recordings, practice with the CD, um, and try and work on getting the most beautiful sound you can get. It helps you to record yourself and then you can listen back and see how you sound. And it's even better if you can videotape yourself like I'm doing. I'm learning a whole lot when I go back and I listen to the recordings. So the recordings are due on Sunday. So you have today's Thursday, you have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to practice those songs and then make your recording in charms. For each entry, you'll do two songs. And I'll go make up that assignment right now so you can see it in charms. All right, we're finishing up week two of our remote learning. And I miss you guys. I hope you're practicing. I hope these videos are helpful to you to help you see how I practice and, you know, exactly how I have my things set up. All right, so have a really good weekend. Bye.